Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Pazbox Productions, and welcome back to YouTube Expeditions, where we confront fear to find the truth. Now, if you've noticed that I did not have another digitizer video on here, that is because it got moved to my new channel, known as Weird Reviews. Now, what I do on this channel, I'm going to be reviewing web series and obscure films, I guess, or just some generally weird films that I can probably track down and have tracked down as of late. It's a little like what I do here, except there is no reaction, and there isn't going to be like a research set segment to it, I guess, because that's mostly what I do here, is just to see new and strange things and then go back and try to find them out. This one is going to be about looking at things and giving my opinions on, on them, like whether I like them or not, or how good I think they are, stuff like that. But anyway, for this video, we'll be looking at something called Earth and Moon. It is a short 3D animated thing. Judging by what I'm seeing right now, that thing is the best description I can think of. I don't know, like, I don't know what to say! I don't know what to say about this picture, like, at all! <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. But, um, I'm assuming I'm, I'm gonna find out. Because I have to, for my sanity's sake, and which I don't have much of it left. I need to save what precious few I have. <laughs> See, see what I said there? I do, that doesn't even make sense. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. Uh, okay then. Well, hmm. What to say about this thing? <laughs> it reminds me, it remind. I really had to stop there, didn't I? The very uh, questionable looking bobble thingy on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Well, I was gonna say it reminds me of, um, I'm trying to think, like, the fleshy monster things from, uh, Silent Hill. Um, okay. Well, I guess that's the Earth. And so I'm assuming the other one is the Moon? I always assumed that the Moon would probably be... Well, technically... Earth is, well, the Earth is technically, well, if you think about the way, the, what the Earth, name Earth is, like, it's Gaia and Moon is Luna. They're essentially both female, but, well, whatever. So, uh, is this how planets, uh, do the nasty? Oh, crap! What the? Okay. I don't remember, this is not how the school taught me about sexual education. I do not recall it going this way. Did I miss something? Did I skip over that chapter on how things like this are made? Or is this just how planets are cons just made? Ooh, okay then. Hmm. Um, okay, what is this, is mine? Um, <laughs> what is that? Is that mankind? Man, oh, okay then. I guess so. Hmm. I don't know what's happening anymore. Why is there? Why is this fat baby man here? <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about that. I'm, you know who I'm talking about. Why is he here? What is his significance? Is this what? Is this what the moon and Earth managed to birth because of the unnatural uh, method of doing so? <laughs> ooh, ooh, that is a really detailed. Sp ooh, okay then. Well, it's taking a weird. I think things could take a weirder turn than already did at the beginning. Oh, that's the moon. Okay, so that's just his. Uh, Oh no, it's not. It's just this just some guy who's been friend zoned. So he decides to go take a ride in the magical ostrich through the blood lake to the giant baby Earth. Okay then. So is this how mankind po came to populate the Earth? We all rode here on the space ostrich. And just as quickly as it began, it's already over. <laughs> I'm 
I'm left speechless. <laughs> I, I I don't know what to say about that. I feel like I I feel like I shouldn't have slept through um you know astrophysics class. Otherwise, I'd probably known this is how planets you know do it. I really shouldn't have slept through the class. Maybe I'm glad I did. I will save the horror of planet birth until this point. I'll never be the same again. I have been corrupted forever. But that's not really important. So I'm gonna go see what I can find about find out about this as well as who made it. And maybe it hopefully it'll shed some light. So what so I'll be back in a sec. I'm messing up left and right here today. Alright, I'm back. And I did find some things on this, but before I get to that, I just wanted to look. I just wanted to share you, share with you the comments about this video that I found kind of funny. So the first one up here is animation is a wonderful thing. You can create anything you want. Some people decide to make this. This has a deeper message, but what is what it is? I can't understand it. And there's just one other one here that just says, "Every day we stray further from God." <laughs> Well, the thing about it is, there may not be an actual answer to what this actually is. I was doing research for it, and I found one page that actually just has a video repost where it just describes it as surreal, vaguely sexual, experimental 3D animation. But I did find an article on Kill Screen, which discusses the creators of the video, um, Cool 3D Worlds. Where it, described, where it mentions that they had um, started on Vine and essentially started collaborating just essentially making uh, making unpredictable 3D shorts. But I'm basically just trying to make them as baffling as possible. That's pretty much all that's pretty much what I was able to find out. There it may just because it, it's sort of like um, what what um, the video I did, did a few months, a few weeks ago, called um, Seven Billion, and before that, Indigestion. It may just be made just to be creepy and weird. There may be a deeper meaning to it. I'm not entirely sure because I have yet to find one, and there isn't much there. I might try to reach out to them if I can to try and find out if there is a deeper meaning to it or not. Because it, essentially, there are some people saying it's actually supposed to be a visual poem. But, I mean, yeah, I can probably see that to a certain extent, but I'm not sure, but I might try to find out more about this and make a follow-up. So with that, I'm in this video here, so be sure to check out the other videos, as well as Prizebox Productions other videos, so I challenge Prizebox Gaming and Prizebox Reacts, and remember, check out my new channel, Weird Reviews. Thanks for watching, and stay jammed.